Are you PCSing for a hood and need to figure out where you and your family are going to live? Well, stay tuned because that's what we're going to be talking about today. My name is Dominic McShan, military spouse and licensed real estate agent here in the state of Texas. And today we're going to be diving into where to live if you are relocating to Fort Hood. So we're going to be go ahead and we're going to go ahead and dive in. Honestly, I just want to have a conversation with you all just so you have an idea of what it is and kind of what are some of the differences between the many cities um, outside of Colleen. Fort Hood is located in Colleen, Texas, but there are multiple um, other cities and municipalities that are located around Colleen and Fort Hood that many of the active duty military that are serving here live. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and the pros and cons of each city and also just an honest conversation. Now, with that in mind, if you're a PCS in the Fort Hood, some of the things that you may have heard that are not positive, they are absolutely true. It goes down at Fort Hood. But hey, that happens. You know, no matter where you go, you have to control what you can't control. When it comes to living, though, I think that's one of the biggest things that I see as far as folks that are reaching out. They really want to know, well, where should I live? I've heard some things about Colleen versus Copper's Cove versus Harker Heights. Um, what about school districts? What about crime? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, as a licensed real estate agent, I want to be very clear that I'm kind of limited in what I can share about like crime in neighborhoods and so forth. And I also don't want to perpetuate some oppressive practices that really kind of put a dark light on a lot of neighborhoods when ultimately there are just some socioeconomic factors that really influence different neighborhoods and communities. But with that in mind, I will be sharing some resources that you can actually do some research such as neighborhood scouts, where you can actually look at crime data and make some determinations for yourself as far as where you feel it is most safe for you and your family. And ultimately, come up with what is your priority list? Is that affordability? Is that school district? Is that crime and safety? Because all of those things will impact where you want to live if you are moving to uh, Fort Hood, if you're going to be PCSing here. Uh, we've been here for about one year. And we currently live in Temple, Texas. So as far as most familiarity, I will honestly share. I know all about Temple. Now I'm very familiar with Colleen because I work there often. And I also work with a lot of relocation clients that are PCSing to Colleen. Uh, but I know all about Temple, especially near Belton, because that's currently where I reside. And that was part of our decision making process. We did decide that we did not want to live in Colleen. We did want to live a little bit further out, have some distance from Post, but to still be able to easily access Post. And we were also uh, able to be a bit closer to Waco, uh, which we're going to be talking about later on in this video, which also has kind of a unique, uh, just things to do, activities, Chip and Joanna. But I mean, Waco is more than just Chip and Joanna and the Magnolia silos, but everything from axe throwing to top golf to um, now we're getting a main event in the Waco area. So a lot of things in addition to parks and the Brazos River. So I will say this, if you're watching this video and you have heard not so positive things about Fort Hood, I can say that if you are uh, you know, relocating here, it really is what you make it. You're super centrally located right between Austin and Waco, and you also have easy access to Houston and to uh, San Antonio, all within like three to four hours. San Antonio has a lot of great uh, activities, whether that's the boardwalk or amusement parks such as Six Flags or SeaWorld. Austin has a lot of things going on, especially if you're interested in nightlife, brunch, festivals, and so forth. So just being completely transparent, there may not be as many activities that are actually in Colleen or the general area. But if you're willing to drive one to three hours, there is always something that you can really find to do for you and your family, or if you just want to sit and chill out and you want to be able to enjoy some recreational activities, that is where I will say that Colleen, Copper's Cove, Temple, Belton really thrives because there are so many recreational and outdoor activities for you to take part in. And the uh, MWR provides a lot of free resources, whether that's kayaks, canoes, and so forth. And they actually have a location that is right off of Lake Belton, which is a beautiful and very large lake. Here in Central Texas. So if you're interested in those things and great you know, activities for the family, I would definitely encourage you all to take advantage of some of those activities that are available to you and maximize those resources. Now, with that in mind, as we think about Fort Hood, Fort Hood is a very large base. So some folks are going to be having the conversation, well, do I want to live on post or do I want to live off post? I will say this, I've never lived on post, so I can't necessarily speak to that experience. We've always lived off post, so do about 75% of folks that come to Fort Hood. Also, just how large the base is, there is not enough housing on post to accommodate 
for how many soldiers that there are. So for most folks that are relocating here, you're likely going to be living off post. Now for the value of your money and how much, uh, and the BAH just went up just a little bit for this year, which is currently 2022, if you're watching this video, uh, we, we've seen a slight increase because we have seen some rent increases and the pricing of the housing market increase a bit over the last year or two. Um, so we did see a slight reflection of that in BAH. However, ultimately, I personally believe that you get a bit more bang for your buck staying off post and you have choice. Uh, I mean, when you think about the on post, there are definitely like, you know, you can find value and you can have a comfortable space, but you really kind of remove your sense of choice. So you don't necessarily have much of an influence or much of a choice of where you go. You can, you know, share some preferences and so forth, but ultimately you get assigned. Versus at least if you're living off post, whether that's buying or renting, you actually have more of an active role and you can determine exactly what area that you want to live in and, uh, you know, what is the exact space that you want to live in. So those are the considerations. To con uh, those are things to consider as you make your decisions. Now, as we think about like, each city, we're going to go ahead and move forward because I got to keep the YouTube algorithm happy. So if you have not already like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out so much. And if you appreciate this content, I will continue to post some other content. And if there's anything that you want me to talk about that we did not address in this video, feel free to drop a comment and I'll be sure to uh, add that to the list of the many topics that we'll be talking about. So pretty much we've already talked about, you know, where do you want to live? Ultimately, you have a few areas, Colleen, Copper's Cove, Harker Heights. Those are kind of the closest in proximity to post. Those are your areas. You also have Nolanville. Belton and Temple, which is where I currently live. Temple with Belton ISD. We're going to talk about school districts in just uh, school districts in just a moment. Um, and you also have Salado. So as far as you know, kind of giving you all a high level overview, I'll be completely transparent. Um, a lot of folks have concerns about Colleen because the crime rate is higher in Colleen, according to Neighborhood Scouts. So that's not necessarily me, but you can look at a few different sources. And one of them being Neighborhood Scout that just kind of shows a bit higher crime rate in Killeen versus many other areas. Now, with that in mind, Killeen is also significantly larger in population than many other areas. So the population of Killeen is like 140,000 versus a lot of these other towns such as Harker Heights and Copper's Cove, you're looking at like 30 to 35,000. So that's expected from a socioeconomic standpoint. You have more people in a more concentrated space. You're going to have more crime. And also, I will say that it really depends on what part of Colleen that you are living in. So just because you hear certain things about Colleen, not every neighborhood in Colleen is necessarily rough or you should be scared or concerned. But, you know, that is a decision that you have to make. And you do have to do your due diligence as far as figuring out, you know, where in Colleen you do want to live if uh Crime and safety is of your number one priority. And uh, when you consider the school districts, the Colleen School District may not necessarily rank as high as some other school districts. So just to be completely honest, if school district is your number one concern, I would highly recommend uh, considering Belton ISD. And you can uh, be able to access Belton ISD by living in Belton or in West Temple, essentially, or a couple of areas of Temple that do still uh, fall into the Belton ISD School District. Very strong academic reputation as a school district and a lot of folks are interested and really want their kids to go there. Um, however, that does impact the price. So that is uh, typically a more expensive area, uh, definitely much more expensive than Colleen and even Harker Heights. Harker Heights is also really a great kind of middle ground. So you have a little bit of distance from Post, so you're not as close to Post, but you're not also as far as the Temple Belton area. And typically, uh, you know, on average, you can see a more affordable pricing in the Harker Heights area versus, say, Belton. But those are all things to consider as you think about where you want to live if you're a PCS in the Fort Hood. Now, when it comes to figuring out where you want to live, I think it's also important to figure out what amenities and resources are you most interested in. If you want more stores, restaurants, shopping, and so forth, then I would highly recommend either Colleen or Temple. Uh, Harker Heights, you don't see nearly as much. And also Belton, not nearly as much. It's a, a bit more rural, so you don't really have as many uh, stores, restaurants, and even just kind of things to do. However, some of those things contribute to the lower crime rate because it's not much there. It's not, I mean, it's literally homes and that's pretty much it. Uh, you have a few mom and pop shops and, you know, a few things here and there, but it's just not nearly as much as you'll see in Colleen and Temple, especially if you're considering West Temple and the West Adams, Ave West Adams Avenue area, specifically 76502 zip code. So those are all things to consider. 
But if that's not necessarily something that's concerned for you, you know, if you're willing to drive 10 to 30 minutes to get to some of those things like Target or Aldi or Best Buy or the movie theaters um, or just restaurants around the area and some other like the convention, some other aspects like the convention center, then I would highly recommend, you know, consider Belton or Nolanville or Harker Heights. Um, I haven't talked much about Copper's Cove. Copper's Cove is pretty sweet. Like it's super peaceful. It's on the other side of post. So every everything else that's pretty much um, kind of covered in this video is on uh, the opposite side of post. So as you continue to go forward, like you're going toward Waco, uh, that's where you do hit Harker Heights and after Harker Heights, Nolanville, and then Belton and Temple. But you do have Copper's Cove. Copper's Cove may not have, you know, as highly ranked as a school district as Belton, but it has a very strong school district. And honestly, just being in Cove, it is super peaceful. Uh, so you have a little bit of distance from Post, but it is super serene. Uh, there, there may not be as much as far as locations of restaurants and amenities in Cove, but it's super chill and peaceful, like great place if you're re really looking for like, you know, your family. So I would definitely recommend Cove as well. And Cove is, uh, on average, much more affordable than some of the other areas such as Temple, Belton, or Coppers Cove. But a bit more, you know, according to Neighborhood Scout, uh, a bit more safe than Colleen. Uh, so those are just things to consider as you think about where you want to live. Now, going beyond that, let's talk about pricing. When it comes to pricing, We've already shared, I've already shared that Colleen may be the most affordable option. So if you're looking for affordability, definitely consider Colleen. And you also have straight access to posts. So if you want to be able to access posts pretty quickly, definitely like consider staying in Colleen. Like I said, do not let, don't listen to folks that say like, oh, Colleen is terrible and it's super rough or whatever. Now, I will say it, it do be going down in Colleen, uh, in Colleen, it do be going down. However, um, I think it really depends on what areas of Colleen and where you're going to be living. So if you're really interested, like feel free to give me a call, text or whatever. I'll leave my contact info in the comments of this video or schedule a consultation for us to really dive deep and really kind of discuss, you know, what are some of your concerns or what are some of your preferences to figure out what may be the best area and the best fit for you. But I'll definitely say uh, though that's one piece to consider because as you expand out, you can be looking to drive up to 30 to 40 minutes to get to post. So that's something that's important for, especially for our service members. So for me, we currently live in Temple closer to Belton. So my better half drives into post every day and it's no problem, but they don't mind driving. Uh, I don't necessarily have to drive to post. I don't have to go to post often. And when I do have to go to Colleen, it's for showings or working with clients and it may not be, you know, as early as PT. So we're not going there five or 6 a.m. So those are things to consider as you think about what is the lifestyle and also to have access to your kids' schools if that is something of concern for you as well. So as you just make your decision, just think about all of those pieces. Otherwise, when you think about what is it that makes Fort Hood Fort Hood, it's a huge base. So you do have a lot of diversity, a lot of um, restaurants and so forth to really try and experience. So I definitely encourage those that are PCSing here uh, to, to do not let others, you know, thoughts and uh, experiences at Fort Hood necessarily influence your experience. It is what you make it. So if you take the time to go off and visit and to network with other soldiers and families in the area and go to events. Um, I remember we went, to, we recently went to a comedy show that was at the Colleen Convention Center. Super random, seen it on Eventbrite, but it was hilarious. Had the time of our lives. They had some fire, fire wings. The wings were slamming. Um, and the drinks were great. So that was just something to where like I didn't necessarily have high expectations. It was just really something to get out, get out of the house. But that was a great experience. And that was in Killeen. Um, and just being able to also explore. If you're willing to drive, go to Waco, go explore Austin, go explore San Antonio. Like if you come to this area, especially if you're not from Texas or the region, there is so much that you can see and experience in Texas that if you truly want to make the most of your experience at Fort Hood, you can absolutely do that. Uh, and with that in mind, as far as thinking about if you are transitioning here and you are coming from another base, feel free to contact me if you need additional information or you need any referrals. I'd be more than happy to connect you with the agent wherever you are uh, and ultimately making the decision of whether you want to sell or rent your current place if you're a current homeowner. Uh, those are all things that I'd be more than happy to uh, chat with you all about. So as we think about where to live in the neighborhood feel, Belton is definitely a bit more rural and not as diverse. So if you're seeking diversity and you, again, you want more things, that may necessarily be the best place for you. 
However, if you are interested in, um, you know, that rural life, you want a very peaceful and quiet, Belton may be a great place. With that in mind, there are some things to consider as far as looking at homes in Belton beyond the price point being a bit higher. Uh, depending on your neighborhood, you may be on a septic, and that does come with some additional, uh, you know, ownership concerns or just responsibilities as a property owner. And also considering internet and high speed access, because in some areas of Belton, you would expect there to be, you know, high speed internet, but that's not necessarily the case. And some of those areas and communities, even new construction communities, are relying on satellite internet, which has a history of not necessarily being always as reliable, but it is getting better. So those are things to consider if you are looking in that particular area. Uh, otherwise, as you look at Copper's Cove, like I said, Copper's Cove is great in the sense of like super chill, much more affordable. So like start at home. And I highly encourage folks like use your VA loan benefit like that is something that you've earned. So if you qualify for the VA loan, I'll do a separate video talking about the ins and outs of it. But that is a zero down payment loan program. And it is a wonderful you know, opportunity to really get into a home. And you don't have to necessarily lay roots here. I think I speak with a lot of soldiers. They're like, well, I don't really want to, you know, lay ties in Fort Hood. I'm trying to peace out as soon as I get my next orders. But there are still so many opportunities for you to either sell your house and build some equity, or you can rent it out because we have so many soldiers that are coming in and out of Fort Hood. That can be a great opportunity to just build some generational wealth for you and your family. So even if you're not necessarily tied to Fort Hood, that is definitely an opportunity for you. Uh, but overall, Copper's Cove, like I said, it's it's cool. It's, it is a bit newer, so you do have a lot more cookie cutter homes. You don't necessarily have as much of the variety that you may see in some of the other areas. But overall, Cove is a chill place, especially for its affordability. Like it's it's legit, and you do still have you know HEB and a couple other things, but you may have to drive a bit further for other aspects as far as shopping, restaurants, grocery stores, and everything else. Harker Heights is really kind of the sweet spot in the middle. So it's a little bit further from Pose, not as expensive as, say, like the Belton area, but it does have easy access to both things in Colleen and in Temple, uh, Temple slash Belton. So when it comes to just thinking about access to things, I would definitely consider Harker Heights. Um, so ultimately, it really just depends on what is most important to you. When you think about Harker Heights, some points of interest include the Market Heights, the Purser Family Park, uh, the Peloton Ridge, Country Club, and the Steelhouse Hollow Lake. So these are all things to consider if you're looking at um, Harker Heights. And I'll also share a link in the comments for uh, a guide that really kind of highlights some of these pieces that I'm talking about. Everything as far as things to consider and highlighted areas and so forth. Uh, so as far as communities in Harker Heights in particular that may be of interest to those, I would definitely recommend Tuscany Meadows, uh, Evergreen Estates, or White Rock, and Country Trails, and also Stagecoach. Stagecoach is also a really nice neighborhood. And of course, Colleen being just centrally located, you do have that neighborhood feel. Colleen can feel, in my opinion, a bit stale. Like it's it's a it's it's an old military town. Like Fort Hood's been here a long time. Colleen has been here a long time. So you have areas of Colleen that are definitely like expanding, and you see a bit uh, more modern and new construction of homes and restaurants and so forth. But you also have the areas of Colleen where it just feels old. And when you add in some of the crime aspects and the school districts, according to resources, not Dom. Uh oh, excuse me, I'm hitting my mic. Not Dom McShane, the realtor. Um, those are just things to consider as far as being able to consider where do you want to live. But don't write off Colleen off the bat because there's definitely some unique aspects and some benefiting pieces to consider if you want to live in Colleen. So, with that in mind, if you have more interest and you want more information about PCS and Fort Hood, feel free to reach out to me directly. Again, I'll drop some links in the comments. And again, my name is Don McShan. Thank you so much. And be sure to like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out so much. And let me know what other content that you would like to see. And I look forward to speaking with you all soon. All right, you all. DMAC, 